Hello everyone and welcome. Today I wanted to do a special reading for November 11-11, Remembrance Day, and if you need to heal because you've lost someone. I know that war has affected our lives and it's hard, it's difficult, it's not right. We should not have to live in fear. We shouldn't have to live in suffering and pain. We should be able to be safe and create create our heavens on earth. Also today, if you are just having a rough day and you would like some healing, this reading is also for you and you are more than welcome to join me at my table. Thank you everyone and I will see you there. Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me today for this special November 1111 healing reading. Whatever you're going through right now, I know it's hard. But that is what I love about the tarot. The tarot and oracle cards heal. I remember my father telling me stories about the war and how it affected his family and it was devastating. And my heart goes out to everyone who's had to suffer because of war. It's wrong. We shouldn't have to hurt. We should be able to thrive and create our heavens on earth. That is our birthright. The first card out is the Ace of Wands. That is the gift of passion, the gift of movement. Healing. Whoa. Okay. So, we have the Five of Swords. That's no one really winning. No one is really winning. Either side has lost and somebody's walking away. So yes, someone won that battle, but those other people are walking away, but no one really won. And that really says everything about war, right? No one really wins. We're all losing when we're fighting. We are winning when we are creating. We're winning when we're happy and enjoy. We're winning when we are creating. Walking our purpose, walking our path, being our authentic selves, being unconditional love. The next card is the tower. I'm, I'm spreading all this information as I hold up the tower. The tower is losing the battle, the ego, the universe coming in and taking away what doesn't serve us or losing everything, right? Having to start again, build a stable foundation. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. That is holding on too tight. Holding on too tight to your desires. You will become stagnant and not be able to move forward. At the bottom of the deck, we have Strength. That is facing your inner demons, facing your darkness, and taming the inner beast with love, with unconditional love, with unconditional love for self. Whatever has happened, whatever is gone now, what's lost, you must find strength now to begin your healing journey. That's what the gift is. It's your healing journey and find strength to face your darkness and heal your demons and create your heaven on earth. Now, let's clarify. We have the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands. That's the Princess of Cups. 
that's rekindling love in our lives again. Creating. Loving ourselves, beginning our healing journey and creating. Having fun. Living in the moment. Clarify the Five of Swords. The Four of Cups. That's missing something that's right in front of your face. So if you're hurting and you're lashing out and you're giving your own vigilantism because you're not healing and you're hurting the people around you, you need to stop. Stop right now. Take a break. Begin healing. So you're not lowering the vibration for the people that you love. Instead, you heal and you raise the vibration for the people that you care about around you. We are all one. And just because you're not saying anything doesn't mean you're transmuting the energy. You need to transmute the energy so that it's not going out into your environment and hurting your family, hurting your friends, anyone you care about. Clarifying the tower is the hanged man with the fool. This would make complete sense with the tower. The hanged man and the fool. So when the hanged man, the tower comes in, and now we have no choice but to cut out the parts of us that don't serve us. The universe has put us in a position where we are in a tower moment and we really need to look at our life and what we need to do to heal ourselves, what we need to shed of the darkness to grow in the void and create, create something new. And that is going to be the energy of the fool, to be in the new energy of starting over learning something from the tower, learning something as you let the light in, and then beginning a new cycle. The sun behind him there, it's gorgeous. I love the fool. That's why I started my channel. That's why I started school for the fool. Okay. Clarifying the Four of Pentacles is the Four of Pentacles. Come on. Come on. I guess there's no... What else am I going to say? You've been hit by the tower. And now you're in the energy of the fool. And you need to start over again. This is a direct message having this come here twice. That just because you were hit by the tower... Do not continue to hold on to your old template. Don't continue to hold on to your old life, the pain, your hurt, your fears. You have to let that go and plant new wishes. Let that go and move on, move forward. Because after all the pain, and the hurt and the heartbreak, there's clarity in the Four of Swords. There's clarity when you are resting. There is the gift from Source. Take out, take the time. When you're facing your demons, when you're facing your darkness and taming the beast, rest. Reflect while you're meditating. Meditation heals you. However, you have to meditate. Everybody's different. I can't tell you what will work for you. That's some people do yoga. Some people don't do yoga. Some people listen to music. 
Some people clean their house. What is it for you? Time in nature? I like time in nature. I can get lost in meditation. I can be in meditation, meditating for eight hours straight. I gotta pull myself back to reality. But <clears throat> I need to stop talking because the card is flipped out on my finger. I, when I read, I always like to get an action we can apply to the spread or the situation. Now, I'm using my Italian deck in honor of my, <clears throat> in honor of my family. See what the card is. Temperance. Help from our angels. I'm going to read it directly from the book. Temperance. Transformation. Moderation. Adaptation. Pleasant change. Regeneration. Healing. Spurt of energy. That is what we're going to do. After all of this hurt, it's time to transform whatever that may be. And it's all about healing, healing yourself. I'm gonna get a couple of oracles to end off the reading. One of forces. The Akashic field. Like the Akashic field, the aura borealis flows with energy and brilliance as charged particles from the sun interact with atoms in the Earth's atmosphere. The 93 million miles from the sun to the earth is nothing compared to the limitless consciousness of the Akashic field. All information, power, energy, and experiences vibrate within this realm of unending truth and possibility. And every bit of it can be yours. Receiving this card upright tells you that amazing opportunities abound at this time. You can increase and accelerate the experience by opening the doors in the Akashic Records. Your life force energy resonates with universal synchronicity now, so you can explore the records and receive exactly the information that you need and the energy that can help. Engage in this pursuit with a conscious focus. Write your intentions and ask for inspiration. Meditate on the Akashic field and visualize your goals. The universe is ready and willing to align with your heartfelt desires. And now is the time to make them happen. It's go time. Time to get in the energy of the fool and begin healing. Take time. Take charge of our healing paths. Now, for anyone who has lost anyone or you just would like to hear a message, this is from the angels. We have three messages. The situation will improve. Peaceful resolution and take action. That's the action, guys. This is not the action. Okay? This is it.
and a peaceful resolution, that's always the way. The situation will improve. Your angels want you to know that they are aware that things look difficult right now. However, the situation is going to improve. It may take some time and there will most likely be some hard work ahead of you. But the effort you put forth will be worth it and things are going to get better. Now is not the time to give up on wounded friendships or ailing relationships. There is still hope for the future. Take heart and continue to work toward a partnership where both parties are fulfilled and happy in the future. I see the dolphins there and that always reminds me of the twin flame journey. Every time I see a dolphin, I think of that. Dolphins are so highly intelligent and they are an animal that symbolizes peace, not fighting, being there for other people. They'll even be there for other species. Peaceful resolution. They'll be there for other species without compromising their own selves. Like that is intelligence. M and N O P. Okay. Peaceful resolution. The challenges you're inquiring about are going to come to an end. Conflict will cease and soon be replaced with harmony. There will be a sense of peace shared by all, even if some only agree to disagree. Disagreements will be resolved in your favor. This includes struggles with employers, legal batterers, legal battles, arbitration, and even stife among family or friends. Before giving and understanding with those who may have been in error, allow peace to come with grace and dignity for everyone. We need to recognize that we all have different perceptions of events. We all have our own path, our experiences, our own things we're meant to feel along the way. And someone else does not owe you happiness or their happiness you have to make your own happiness you have to find your peace you have to heal this is your journey and you need to take charge of it someone else is not going to come in and do this for you you have to give this gift to yourself and when you give it to yourself you also have to be kind and compassionate and show unconditional love to the people around you and whatever you're going to do do it do it humbly, do it with kindness, treat other people how you treat yourself. And in the dark, just because you think no one's looking, the universe is looking. Take action. The time has come to take action. Your angels are waiting for you to take the next step so that they can assist you along the path to your dreams. Do away with your procrastination and uncertainty in your heart. You know what to do, get going. Whether you're focused upon career, relationships, or some other topic, the fulfillment of your wishes isn't going to just fall into your lap. You must be actively focused on the pursuit of what you want. Holding on to what's lost, to what's gone, to the pain, to replaying your circle, it's not going to help you. It's not going to fix anything. You must take action. You must take charge. And it's time to be in the energy of the fool. It's time to take risks on ourself and heal ourself. I really want to thank you for being here today and sharing this November 11 11 with me. Take care, everyone, and see you again at School for the Fool.
If you would like to book a personal reading with me, my information will be down below.